truly a horrific event this weekend, that mass shooting in California. Let's get right to Robin, who is on the scene anchoring our coverage from Monterey Park. Robin, good morning. Good morning to you, Witt, and I am standing outside the dance hall that was a scene of that mass shooting Saturday night. You're going to see behind me the growing memorial to the victims. There's shock, there's grief here in Monterey Park as this bustling Asian American community has canceled a second day of Lunar New Year festivities. A season of celebration taking a tragic turn as a gunman went into that crowded dance hall Saturday night, killing at least 10, injuring 10 others. Officials this morning identifying the shooter, who they say died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound as police closed in on his white van this after a day-long manhunt on Sunday. We're learning more this morning about the victims and about a second incident involving the gunman. Juju Chang is also here with me and has the latest with me. Good morning here, Juju. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here, Robin. I'm glad we're here. Yeah. What has happened in this community has truly been shattering. The massacre that occurred in the midst of what should have been the most festive day of the year for this predominantly Chinese American community. You know, Lunar New Year is full of tradition and inspiration, and yet one witness told us that there were about 100 dancers inside this studio yesterday when authorities believe the 72 year old gunman turned this celebration into a tragedy. Overnight, law enforcement searching the suspect's home. We're looking at all criminal history, mental health history, and those are all things the detectives will take a very hard, long look at and see if it impacted uh, what occurred here, the motive. Police now identifying the gunman as 72-year-old Hu Can Tran. They say he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound inside this white van, hours after shooting and killing 10 people and injuring 10 more at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio during a Lunar New Year celebration in Monterey Park at 10.22 p.m. Saturday night. You have 10 unresponsive inside, and you have two that are still in critical condition of breathing. The near two-hour standoff happening about 30 miles from where the gunman first opened fire. SWAT teams surrounding this white van. The suspect barricaded inside the vehicle, which had a stolen license plate. Investigators conducted a search of the vehicle and determined the male inside the van was the mass shooting suspect. David Duval told us he's taught at the Monterey Park Dance Hall for more than 10 years. He says at least one of his students, Grace, was there. She first thought it was like fireworks or something. Then she saw people who were on the, on the floor, and that's when she went and got under a table. She also caught a glimpse of the shooter. She did see the gunman, uh, and he had some kind of a long rifle. And this morning, we're hearing from the survivors. This woman says her dance partner was fatally shot as she shielded her amid the shooting. After the suspect do the, uh, the shooting finish, he left, and then I called my partner. Wake up, wake up, he don't wake up. And I realized all my hands are blood. I thought I got shot too, you understand? After that, I realized he already at the back bleeding. About 20 minutes after the shooting, authorities say the suspect entered a second dance hall in Alhambra. These exclusive surveillance images obtained by ABC News show the suspect armed with a semi-automatic assault pistol, confronted by 26-year-old Brandon Say, wrestling the firearm away from the gunman before he could injure anyone else. He was disarmed by two community members who I consider to be heroes because they saved lives. This could have been much worse. A community who gathered to celebrate, now bound together in grief. We cannot get numb to these shootings. We are one and the same in the struggle against this horrible gun violence, which is snuffing out these lives, these lives of very innocent people. I spoke with one dancer who is on a 100-person WeChat, and she said that some of the victims began adding images from inside the dance hall as they were being evacuated. And she told me she didn't want to look at the bodies, but one thing that she noted, Robin, was that they were wearing dancing shoes, mm -hmm. that these were people here inside this hall to celebrate, to find joy. As Representative Chu said, innocent. Absolutely. It's absolutely innocent. And regardless of motive, the investigators are right. looking into domestic violence and mental illness, but she says, regardless, mm -hmm. this is a community that's healing. It is. They're very early into the investigation, and we will find those answers, Juju. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.